on entry is pretty straightforward, right? We want to, this is the biggest braking zone in the whole track, right? We want to get our corner speed set early. We want to get our downshifts done as soon as we come off throttle. Some of us have taken a school, know what we're talking about there. And what I like to do is get the corner initiated before the turn. Well, I see a lot of us new to the track kind of stay wide, stay wide, stay wide, then last minute, turn in, making the corner longer, right? I like to go from this, well, this area here, kind of diagonal it to the first cones and let the bike kind of drift, right? A lot of the things that aren't really talked about in corners, there's three aspects of corners, entry, apex, exit. The least talked about is that exit. So we're going to really focus on exits. Exits are huge. I see a lot of us and myself included when I first started in 2001, here when we first did track days, is we keep turning after the corner's done. Stop turning, get the bike picked up, drive it to the outside of the corner. So keep that in mind. And also, not every corner is wide entry. So we'll talk about that next time. Yeah. Okay. Here, jump back in. Where's your entry point? And, well, entry point, when you say entry point, when I tip in. So like I said, I'm about here, yeah. I start tipping in about here. And I aim for the first cones and let the bike kind of drift out. You aim for a which lot cone? of first cones here, like the <laughs> which is the inside, first. right? Yeah. I kind of go because if you stay wide, 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 yeah. wide, and then turn in, you're making the corner much, much longer. So you 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 want your bike to be close to that close cone. to the cones. Yeah, that's. that's I, I almost cones. treat it. I almost treat it like a like a double apex, right. although it isn't. Uh, next corner might might be. We'll see yeah. when we get there. But um, for here, I like to get my can kind of settle, turn, and there's a lot of, lot, of, lot of speed that can be scrubbed. As we get better, you'll find that you'll to scrub more, scrub a little bit more as you're turning in. Get the majority of your braking done, and then right at the end here, kind of scrub a little bit, let the bike kind of settle, and then off brake, and then get on the gas. The, the apex we're going to look at is right where that water drain is. Some of you know what I'm talking about, but that's the apex that we're looking at on the way out. Okay, so we're going to stop right there, Rob. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we can go now. Okay, so, so let's uh Don't get out of the trucks guys. Stay in there. So this water drain here, sometimes we have a cone that's laid down. Right. That's kind of where you want to be. That's that, that that's your apex, right? If you hit this apex, a lot of us, what we do when you first come to a track day is we'll hit that apex and then we'll just keep turning and exit the track on the right side. It'll be on the right side of the track on, on the exit. What's that doing? What's that not, not allowing us to do? Get on get the on throttle. Yes, exactly. Get on, get on the throttle. So if we get the bike picked up and if you Back from where this truck is, if you can visually see, my reference point, my exit point, is pretty much the last bit of curbing there, right? If we can line up to that and kind of get, uh, let's put it down here. Where, where, where do you think it's yeah, best? Here is where, where we usually have it. Okay. So that's where we usually have it, so you can visually see when you're here, that point, that's where the grate is, and that's pr pretty much perfect for the apex. So if we can, from back here, from where that vehicle is, visually look at our exit points we're already online for this look for our exit point which is the last bit of the curbing even a little bit after that and drive the motorcycle to it in a race if you ever watch from the stands in a race i'm usually way the hell out there almost running over that curbing right why so when i get the bike picked up and down the throttle there's a lot of time to be gained from here to here from here to there rather from here to the entry of two okay so you see that rob let's go to entry of two Everybody comes out here. 
And I usually ask people that, that, that do this when I say, obviously you want to enter the corner wide for whatever reason. It'd be different if it's a 90 degree corner heading to a long straightaway. Then yes, sacrifice the exit for the, for the drive out of this. But I asked them, what if we paid 10 more feet of track? Would you go way out there to turn left? They're like, no, you're ridiculous. So why would you do that? Just because that's the edge of the track. At most, at most about here, at most. Because the drive out, there's so much time to be gained in the drive out, and look how long this corner is. It's just long enough for a double apex. So coming in, if we come in and we are, pops about here, I can't wait to see this video. <laughs> what? So, see that little bit of water? Well, you can't really see it with the car right there. But the curbing, let's just see. Put it right on the line. <laughs> so, mid corner, we drifted it out, right? Think of it as like you're pulling the bow back on, on a bow and arrow. The more you pull it back, the more energy to release. So, if we can drift it out a bit, just a little bit, then we can cut it back and get the bike more pointed down track than if we were tight. Respect it. So we want to keep a little bit distance, but we want to drive towards it to get the drive out down track. By the time I'm before here, by the time I'm like way back here, I'm already online for that. I don't need to look at that. I need to look down track. So I'm looking at my exit, my exit point now. By the time I get to here, I'm looking more down track. I've already picked up my exit point, knowing where I'm going to go. I'm already down track. Rolling the throttle on, it's like this, gently, <laughs> progressively, right? 
and looking, at this point now, I'm looking at the brake markers. Look how far down, right? I'm now exiting, I know where I'm, my trajectory is outside, and I'm gonna roll the throttle on and get on the gas. So a lot of us, what I see is, we still keep turning, and we exit this corner on the left side of the track, which means we're on the edge of the tire for longer. When I get a bike picked up, get it off that edge so we can roll the throttle on. Make sense? Hmm. Questions? Good. Okay. I don't know how much time we have left, so let's get to we're not gonna stop in three. We're not gonna stop in three. Anybody have questions in three? No, okay. corner it's hard braking on the on the entrance is turn three an important corner in and of itself no, no it's slow, slow no it's slow exactly perfect what do we do in slow corners go slow go slow exactly you guys are awesome Bill, there's a big bump there so the yep. natural tendency is to get it leaned over right at that cone but it's on the bump and I've hit my gear shift there and sure yeah. so how do, do you actually corner earlier and then uh, for me a little later I kind of hold okay. And then I tip it and get the turn done and kind of get over. You don't have to be super, super tight. Yeah. Jasmine actually one time had a brain fart and she hit her shifter on the rubber donut. And kudos to her, she didn't crash, but it bent it right back. Yeah. Right? She was in second or whatever place for that race. So here, fastest corner of the track, it's important to get your turn initiated early. A lot of us I see, we, come, we stay super wide and we turn in late. And that's scrubbing up a bunch of speed. And there's a reason that they try to do that is on the exit, they want to exit track left. Does it make sense to be on the left side of the track on the exit of this corner? It's the fastest corner of the track. So what do you want to do? Outside, apex, outside. Because what, what's five? Is five an important corner? No, no. no not really. It's, you just got to get in there. So on our exit, you'll see how much exit we're going we're gonna to take right now. But here, I'm already initiating my turn here. I'm already aiming for that, for that apex. And if this led onto a straightaway, it'd be a little bit different, but it doesn't lead to, leads to actually nothing. So I'm initiating that turn, getting the bike turn, getting my eyes up. At this point here, I'm already online for my apex. About half my distance from here to the first gentleman with the leaf lower. I've already got my eyes picked up to my exit and entry into five, which is tight, not wide. A lot of us go super wide. We come through here and we make an S out of it. We go right side in, in to the apex and then come out of this corner maybe mid-track and then go even further left to go right again in turn five and when you look when you get closer will that make sense no, no, i don't think so let's go around. You, you know, you got all these uh, manpower here. When it dries up a little bit more, we're going to need as many of these criminals as we can. Because it goes. Yeah. Because it goes from here all the way through that way. Yeah. So, and you can't see it until it dries. 
six because that's that's the most dangerous corner we have there's a wall right right there right and a lot of us that are asked about what should I do for gearing what should I be doing what gear position what gear should I be in for this corner a lot of us 600s or thousands or whatever it is tend to bog a little bit on purpose here so we can roll on and not have to shift mid corner a lot of us on 250s I raced the 250 last time I had to shift pretty much just after the apex of six which on a 250 is fine, but I wouldn't want to do it on a big bike. All right, so let's do the exit of uh, five here. So I'll try to yell louder. So this is the only corner we don't take exit. No, but not, you know, some of you might say, well, Spiro said take exit. So I'm gonna go from the apex of five right, up, right over here for my exit. Well, I wouldn't want to be over here for the entry of this corner. I'd rather sacrifice the exit of five, the entry of, of six. Why? A, the wall, B, six has a long straightaway to the seven. That's a good opportunity to get on the gas. So if we can hold hold our tight line pretty much all the way to be where these trucks are maybe between these trucks is my tipping point we just maybe, maybe to the front of this one and get the bike turned and hit that apex back in the day turn six used to have a concrete patch there and all the students avoided that like the plague like they didn't want to go over it so they ran super wide missing the apex by feet and what does that do to your exit out wide, exactly. So it messes out wide, which we do not want to do. So we want to outside entry, get over that apex, which is totally fine now, it's perfectly paved, and get our eyes picked up and look down track. I mean, it'd be so great if the if the berms on, on the dirt track weren't were so high, we can look down track all the way through this corner. But yeah, this is the only time we're going to hold line through a corner, not pick up the bike, correct? Right? Thank you. 
do a wheelie because the cameras are usually there. Right. Just to know, let you know. So turn seven, 90 degree corner. What do we what do we want to do there? What are we where do we want to set up for for that corner? Wide entry, tight entry? Wide. Wide? 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 Everybody agree with that? 100 percent Wide. Wide entry. It opens the corner up. Right? A lot of us that I see, first time track days, we might do all that, but we'll come hit the apex, everything's great, but we'll exit exit the track and be kind of where this dryer patch is. Instead of out here, out here a bit more. Take some exit. We have these cones out here for a reason. You can sometimes in a race I'm like, oh shit, I'm in too hot. And I roll through the corner a lot, a, a lot quicker than I thought, and I take more exit. I'm sometimes over here. I wouldn't recommend it, but sometimes it happens. I'm up, up over here, and I gotta uh, correct. The biggest thing I see, a lot of us, is we'll come through seven, and then see where this truck is. We'll be to the left of the truck going into eight. We'll make the track super long. Like what if I, what if I said we're gonna pave more track all the way to that fence? To the left there. Would you go all the way to the left? to go right leading to nothing, leading to like, there's no straightaway after turn eight. Right. Doesn't make sense, right? So why go left anyway? From here, and I proved it once in 06 or whatever, on my 600 battling uh, Steve O'Toole on his R1, and I had a camera on my bike, and he just moved out of my way. I knew where he was gonna go, so I took a little bit wider entry, more roll speed. He came through, and what he did, he just kind of went left, to go right, and I just stayed on, stayed on the throttle, and he emptied the inside, tucked, turned it in, and got got his his position. So this is a great opportunity where you can get on the gas on a smaller smaller bike, 600,000. I don't get as much as I used to on my 600, but you can get on the gas pretty good here and make up make up some time. And turn eight, is it an important corner? Like no. turn three? No. Do we have to? Oh, dude, I rail through turn eight. Like <laughs> it's turn eight, man. It's just get it in, get it up, and go. So. If we can just get in there, turn it, get it up. Turn nine entry, we're gonna get there. Hey Rob, I see you watching. Come on, man. entry pretty much anywhere you like really because look look at the corner itself is it a long sweeper no it's kind of a weird hairpinish flow corner so you can be you can enter here you can enter dead tight it's all it's all fine the important part is and I learned this about six seven years ago is right at the middle there where's a good place to have your head turn and 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 look think about something tall tower tower, tower. Tower. First time I did it, I almost rolled off the inside of the track because the bike turned sharper. What turns the bike sharper? Literally, that. You turn your head more, the bike will turn sharper. It's literally that, that simple. So if we get to the middle of this corner, turn our head, look at look up at that tower, and get to drive out. And this is another corner where I see a lot of us kind of holding line. And that's fine if you're gonna be passing somebody and they're kind of drifting out wide. So I get that bike picked up and drive it. You don't have to necessarily go even on a bigger bike, I don't get much past that white line down the middle of the, of the track. Not much. Uh, on a maybe a last lap, I'll do that. Just take, take the checkered right underneath the tower because it looks cool for people in the, in, the, in the stand. Other than that, just yeah, it's it's all. This is all about the drive out, right? Because we're coming in, we scrub some speed, we made some distance, some time there. We scrub some speed, we get in there, and you can, it's a little bit banked. You can see it's a little bit banked. You can actually rail this corner pretty good. Bez G actually dragged his elbow here once which is amazing on his older GSXR, which is even more amazing. Um, yeah, but this corner itself, it's the drive out. All right, any questions on anything? Where's your apex here? Apex? Pretty much about here. It's like I'm apexing and I'm letting the bike lift up. It's hard when you're just walking it. Yeah, pretty much about here. If I'm passing somebody, I might go tight on the inside. That'll affect that. If I'm 
trying to get a drive out on somebody and they're tight, I'm going to try to go wide and get the drive out on them. That'll affect that as well. So it's all, this is all about getting your head turned, looking for that power. About here I can see the power and then you can really roll the throttle on. And don't be afraid to play with coming out, drifting out a little bit here too. Drift it out a little bit and then, and then, and then cut it back because that'll help to drive out. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. Any questions on anything else? Since you have your pick of lines, is this a good spot to overtake or find an overtake? Not really. It's tight as hell. There's a lot of, uh, I've seen <laughs> one of my first races back in the day, I got lapped by Mark Kruger, Pacific Riding School, <laughs> and Steve Dick, Canadian Superbike Champion. Uh, that was amazing to me. Last lap of the race, I'm coming through seven, and they went either side of me between seven and eight. And I'm watching now. I get to see front row seat. They come through A, and then I think it was Kramer went up the inside of Steve, and they bumped. And whoever got the win because of that, there was some controversy, whatever. And uh, yeah, it was something else. But yeah, for this, for passing here, leave it for for one great passing. Two is great passing. I've done lots of inside and outside passing. Seven inside of seven, inside of three for sure. Four, uh, it's kind of tight there, right? Four. You see how wide the track is, right? When we're standing there in four, it looks perfectly wide. Yeah. When you're on the bike, the track all of a sudden looks that narrow because <laughs> you've got some speed. So you got to be mindful of that. It'll take time. Just, you know, it takes time. Okay? Never be in a hurry to go fast. Mm -hmm. And that's it.